Hello, hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about polyduckly imaging. Polyduckly, less common called hyperduckly, refer to the situation where there are more than the usual number of digits in hand or foot. It can be broadly classified as preaxial polyductly and then extra digit toward the sum halu or radiali. Osaxial polyductly and then extra digit toward little finger toe or onan. Onan. Central polyductly I mean middle three digits are involved. Estimate incidence is different for pre and post axial polyductyly. Post axial polyductyly around one in three thousand. Pre axially axial polyductyly around one in 7,000. Central polyductly is the rarest encounter. In Asian edition, there may be a greater prevalence in individuals of African descent, particularly for post-axial polyductly. Association, a large proportion a polyductly is isolated, although they can be associated with an immense amount of anomaly, which include endoploid syndrome, trisomy 21 and trisomy 13. Trisomy 21 tends to be preaxial polyductly, and trisomy 13 tends to be postaxial polyductly. Unlike another association, non aneuploidic syndrome, but that Bale syndrome, Bedor syndrome, open force Carpenter syndrome, Feta Falproa syndrome, Hydrolethalus syndrome, Jubert syndrome, Jubert Avert syndrome, Limit Duclos disease, Kusik Kaufman syndrome, Michael Gruber syndrome, Mega encephaly poly micro and hydrocephalus syndrome. Oral facial di digital syndrome. Skeletal dysplasia, asphyxiating thoracic dysplasia, Ellis van Graver syndrome, Smith Lemley Opit syndrome, Bacterial Association. 
macrodystrophia, lipomatosa, syndactyly, most common associated lamp anomaly, it is then termed polysyndactyly. Rather than describing polydactyly based on the position of the accessory digit, it can also be described by the number of total digit. Example, hexadactyly, six digit, or even heptadactyly, seven digit. In it, indeed, the presence of seven individual digit is exceedingly rare, but has been reported by age. This radiology has little role in the diagnosis of polydactyly. It is important in two ways. Assessment of the remainder of the skeleton or other skeletal abnormality anomaly and as such adding in the diagnosis of an underlying syndrome. Second, assess the local anatomy to add in surgical planning of particular importance is the anatomy of the normal digit and the relationship of the extra digit to the adjacent bone and joint. This is an example of the post-axial polydactyly. As you can see, the extra digit was happened in the face toe. This is another example. So the short array tibial and fibula with small epiphysis, upward shift the fibula, right foot polydactyly, seven metatarsal and toe, internal foot inversion of the this is associated with a syndrome. Another example, the pre-polydactyly. So the sum has an additional three column digit arising major to it consistent with polydactyly. Pre-axial. This is a case of ulnar demilin. The radiograph so so as demonstrated clinically, there are too many fingers. However, there is a little more to this case. There are two set of middle a ring and little finger symmetrically center around the central ray that has duplicated middle and distal column. Feature here suggests partial ulnar duplication. This is the case of Ellis Van Grave syndrome. What we can see is post-axial polydactyly and the abnormal in the pelvis bone. We can see this splasia skeletal. This is another case of 
clinodactyly, osa enter metatase, bilateral pedal postaxial polydactyly. So what we can see here, bilateral five finger, fifth finger, clinodactyly, bilateral os, inter metatase, bilateral postaxial pedal polydactyly, rudiment tari on right side. This is the case of Ballister House syndrome. So the frontal left hand radiograph, so unilateral polysyndactyly, postaxial polydactyly. This films, so bilateral B feet, fifth metacarp, metacarp with duplication of the little finger, representing a form post axial polydactylism under the Duran classification system, it would be termed a tie for B in view of the mifid niti of the metacarpal of the little finger. This is the case of post axial polydactyly of the foot. So fifth toe polydactyly with broad headed metatarsal bone. No soft application and volunteer duplication. Treatment and prognosis. If it is an isolated anomaly, it is incidental and not of concern. But if associated with other anomaly, it then carry a vastly rival prognosis dependent on the rest of syndrome. Thank you.